Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to John. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you." In verse 3 of today's passage, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, Jesus owns everything, and blessed be his name, by the way, despite owning everything and all of us, all of creation is in our Lord's hands, and despite the fact that he is the king of the universe and the God that is infinity, that is beyond time and space, despite all of that, he bows down, he kneels down and washes the feet of his disciples. How often do we, in our vanity, in our pride, do we think so much of ourselves that we are unwilling to bend down and serve those beneath us? Our Lord is not only giving us a practice practical lesson, a practical example of what servitude looks like. He's giving us a very clear understanding of how we should see each other. Even when some of us are in positions of authority, even when we are above other people in certain practical ways, we are meant to lead in servitude and in seeing the brother and sister in each other. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Word.